In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create 3D text in After Effects using Elements 3D plugin. First of all, I'm going to create a new composition that's 1920 by 1080. Then select the type tool and type anything you like. Then right click in the empty space, new solid. I'm going to name it Element. Then go to Effects and Presets and search for Element. Then add the effect to the solid layer. First thing you want to do is go to Custom Layers. Then go to Custom Text and Masks and set path layer to the text that you've created. And then you can go ahead and hide the text, we don't need to see it anymore. Then click on Scene Setup, you'll see this window, then click on Extrude. Once you do that, you'll see your text, you can easily rotate your text to preview it. Then go to Presets tab, go to Bevels, Physical, and here you have all sorts of different presets that you can choose from. Play around with and see what you like best. My personal favorite is Mirror. You can either double click or drag and drop it onto the Extrusion model. If you expand the drop down, you can see all different layers containing different materials that you can also change if you'd like so. But let's keep it like that. Go to environment, go to basic, and you can choose any environment that you want. This is my personal favorite, so I'm going to choose that. After you click on your desired environment, the text will start reflecting on it. And once you're happy with how the text looks, you can click OK. In order to animate the text, we need to go to group 1, particle look, and open the multi object and check enable multi object. This will give you a bunch of controls that you can use to animate the text. First of all, I'm going to make the text bigger by increasing the particle size. I'm going to set it to 15. Then make sure you are at the beginning of the composition. Scroll down to find displace. Increase displace to maybe 4 and create a keyframe on it. Then find rotation random and increase that to 180 degrees. Also create a keyframe on it. Then you can either change X or Y rotation. I'm going to set Y rotation to 45 degrees and also create a keyframe on that. Then I'm going to move 2 seconds forward and press U to see the keyframes. Drag and select them all. Then right click here and click on reset, that will reset every single value and then you can click off and individually change every single one. I like to keep this place at 0.1 so that the letters are not too close to each other. Also slightly increasing rotation random will make the text more interesting so I like to set it to 25 so it's a bit tilted. After that drag and select all the keyframes, right click any of them, keyframe assistant is easy so press F9 as a shortcut. Then go to the graph editor and for this one we're going to use speed graph, right click make sure and edit speed graph. Then drag and select the first point and drag the handle all the way to the left. Then drag and select the second point and also drag the handle all the way to the left. Then exit the graph editor and let's do the first preview. As you can see that turned out really cool. Let's enable motion blur. If you don't see this column, click on toggle switch mode until you do. Check the box for the motion blur. That'll make it even smoother. And this is what we have. In case if you want to reposition the text, you can do it from going to the particle replicator. You can see position X, Y, and by changing the values here, you can see that you can easily reposition the text. I suggest you do it this way rather than actually moving the solid layer itself, because that wouldn't look nice. As the final touch, I'm going to search for curves and effects and presets added to the solid layer. Then I'm going to create a simple RGBS curve to bring out the contrast, switch to the blue channel, increase that slightly to give the text blue tinted look. As you can see, just like this, we've been able to create a really cool 3D text in After Effects using Elements 3D plugin. If you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new, please give this video a like, really appreciate that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.